The main goal of almost any business dashboard is to help monitor and track key performance indicator, KPI. And the best way to monitor KPI is to use bands, big aggregated number. But for something that important, it's actually really annoying to make a KPI in Tableau. You will usually need between six or eight calculated fields to make just one KPI. And that's only for the calculation. Then if you want to assemble it in a nice dashboard, it's also a lot of repetitive tasks to drag and drop all the containers to make your KPI look good. I've been using Tableau for eight years and I just had enough of this. That's why I created a tool, Bang, Big Aggregated Number Generator, that will save you a lot of time when you need to make KPI. The tool will generate all the calculated fields, all the worksheet, and also a nice dashboard directly in your workbook. So you don't have to create anything manually anymore. The tool is already available, so let me show you how to use it. I'm going to use the Sample Superstore Accelerator. It's a dashboard that comes pre-installed with Tableau and that is connected to the Sample Superstore data source. Um, there is multiple worksheet, overview, product, customer. Um, and on top, you can see uh, KPIs, you can see bands. And there is something that really annoys me with those KPIs. A KPI always needs to have like a comparison, right? If you cannot compare a number with, I don't know, the previous month, the previous year, or a competitor, for example, it really means nothing. Like for example, you can see here, $300,000 of profit. I have no idea if that is good or bad. I have no way to compare that number to, to know if it's good or bad. Let's just go to that worksheet and you can see that there is three data source, sales commission, sales target, and the super superstore, which is the primary data source for this, this dashboard. Let's save the Tableau file. We will name it superstore. You can save the file either as a package workbook that contains the data or a, or a simple Tableau workbook. Even though nothing is ever stored anywhere with my tool, I would suggest to always use a Tableau workbook file and not a package so you are sure that your data never leaves your computer. Let's click on save, and then we can open a web browser and go to ladataviz.com. And on top of my website, you will see Bang. So that's the tool we're going to use to generate KPI. I already have an account and a license, so I can directly use the tool. Okay, this is really important and a question that I receive all the time. When you input a file in any of my tools, this one or the advanced visualization generator, your data, your file are never uploaded anywhere. Everything happens only in the browser. And you can test it really easily. Once the page is open, you can simply turn off your Wi-Fi, go completely offline, and you will still be able to input new file and use the tool. It's really the same as if you drag and drop an image on your browser. The browser will show the image because the browser is capable of reading that image that is in your computer, but the image is never uploaded anywhere online. Everything stays between you and your computer. Nothing is ever uploaded anywhere online. We are going to select a Tableau file and take our superstar.twb. The first thing I can do is um, just change the width of my dashboard. So here we will say 1500 pixels and then select the data source. So you can see that the tool detected the three different data source and we are going to use sample superstore. The second option is to have a dynamic date selection. Selecting this will automatically create and add a parameter in your dashboard and that will allow you to choose the date on which you want to analyze your KPI. You can create that parameter based on either the year, month, quarter, or week, and also select the date uh, that is used for the parameter. So in that case, order date, but it could also be ship date, for example. Now let's start to create our KPI. Every white rectangle in the tool will become a band, will become a big aggregated number that are KPI. So you can, for example, select the measure that you want to analyze. In our case, we will start by sales. Then you can configure the aggregation and select between a sum, an average, mean, max, median, or count. In our case, we are going to analyze the sum of sales. Then you can specify if you want to analyze it by month, by year, by quarter, week, or day. And finally, which date is going to be used to analyze our KPI. So our first band in that case will be the sum of sales by month of order date. That's the KPI that matters for us. That's what we want to track. Then we need to define what is the current value based on. So either you can have the most recent months or the last full months. Usually when you analyze a KPI, you want to compare things that are comparable. So for example, if we are the 15th of August, um, the value of July will probably be higher than the value of August because the month is not complete. So that's why you can use last full months to make sure that you always compare months or year or week that are full. If you select most recent months, you will be able to track your KPI even if the month is not finished. You can also personalize your KPI and change its color, for example, a bright blue. 
Now we need to specify what do we want to compare KPI with. And like I told you before, it's really important to compare KPI, to have something to compare your value with. Here you have four options. You have last year, last year month to date, previous months or previous months to date. Depending on the industry, comparing with the previous months is not usually possible, uh, especially if they are like holidays, for example. So I give you the choice to compare with last year or the previous months. And then the two options that are like months to date are there because we selected most recent months. Like I explained before, the sum of sales of half a month is not comparable with the sales of a full month, right? So if you are using months to date, I will make sure that you are comparing things that are comparable. So for example, if we are the 15th of August and you select last year months to date, we will compare the current months of August with the last year months of August up to the 15th. And the same goes with previous months to date. Then in that case, we will only compare it for the 1st of July to the 15th of July. In our case, we are going to select the last year months to date. You can also change the color if the comparison is positive or negative. And then finally, we are going to say that we want to display the trend as a bar chart and small side note, but I'm planning to add also line chart and area chart in a near future. And we want to look at the last 13 months. Since you are comparing with last year months to date, it's good to see the current months we are in and be able to see the last year months. So that's why I'm using 13 months as a trend. And that's it. We already have one KPI created. Now, if you want to add a second one, we just need to click on Add KPI and configure the second one. So for the second one, we are going to look at the sum of profit and leave all the rest the same. Then we are going to look at the profit ratio. And as you can see here, I cannot select the aggregation level. It's because profit ratio is already aggregated. It's a calculated field that already contains the aggregation. The tool is working with calculated fields and also LOD, just not with table calculation. Let's make even another KPI. And this time we are going to select the sales per customer. And instead of months, we can this time select week, for example. We are still looking at it from the most recent week and we are going to compare it not with the previous year but the previous week to date. Since we are looking at it weekly and not monthly, it's good maybe to change the color so we know that something is different compared to the first KPI. Let's make a new KPI and select customer ID. Since customer ID is a string, we can only use count distinct or count, we cannot make a sum of this. Finally, one last KPI and this time we are going to select quantity, the sum of quantity and this time we're going to look at it daily. So the quantity of sales per day uh, and always compare with the previous day. Same, I'm going to use a different color because again, it's different. It's not monthly or weekly. This one is daily. And we are looking at the trend of the last seven days. Okay, we are done. The only thing we need to do is click on generate bands. When you click on download bands, the tool will automatically generate all the calculation, all the worksheet and a nice dashboard directly in the workbook that you input at the beginning. So let's open the downloaded workbook. And as you can see, this is the KPI tracker dashboard that was generated. But first I want you to look at the bottom and you can see that all the dashboard that were in the Superstore workbook are still there, right? So I'm just adding new things to the existing work. Let's look at the KPI tracker dashboard that was added. So first thing first, um, if you look at the layout, it's really pure and simple Tableau. Here you have like six containers containing the 12 worksheets. It's something that you can easily edit and change if you want. Let's take a look at one of the worksheets, for example, the one of the sales. And as you can see, it's just calculation, all the annoying calculation that you would have to do, like the current period value, the previous period value, the difference when it's positive and negative. So everything is generated automatically by the tool. Of course, if there is any mistake, you can always just change the calculation to adapt it to what you really need or really want. If you search for bang in the list of the fields, you will see all the calculations that were required to make that simple dashboard. And all of those calculations, you would have to do them manually if you are not using the tool. For example, if I just open the current period value, you can see it's a simple sum of if it's the current period, then return the sales. And yeah, it's nothing complicated. It's just really annoying to have to write all those calculations by hand and the tool does it completely automatically. Let's go back to the KPI tracker dashboard. And yeah, as you can see, the sales, the profit, the sales per customer are all in dollars. Uh, and the profit ratio is in percentage with the comparison expressed in points. So if your measure have a default format, for example, percentage or a different currency, 
the KPI that are generated will use the same default format, so you don't have to reapply them. Finally, since we said we wanted a dynamic date selection, here you have the parameter that allow you to, for example, look at the KPI as if we were in November 2023. Uh, so you can compare the value of November 2023 with the value of November 2022, since that's what we wanted to compare the last year months to date. Let's just take a look at the parameter. So as you can see, when the workbook opens, the new value are automatically populated. So you don't have to take care of adding the new dates. They are automatically added. And when the workbook opens, you always automatically have the maximum date. So the most recent date um, automatically selected. So you don't have to do anything. Everything is already configured. And I don't know you, but if we go back to the overview dashboard, I think our KPI dashboard looks much better than the one that Tableau created. I hope you find it useful and that you will be able to save a lot of time just like me. You can try the tool for free for one week and then either make a monthly subscription or make a single payment and use the tool forever. And if you are still watching the video, good for you because you will find a discount code directly in the description of the video. Thank you for watching the video and see you next time.